Hi friends, welcome to MS Access Essentials Learning by MAG.com. So in the earlier uh, video we uh, talked about why, uh, what is database, uh, access database and uh, what are the database objects and we have described everything. In this session, uh, in this video, we will be learning uh, object views. Uh, we talked about all the objects which are called uh, tables, queries, forms, reports and macros. So, uh, we need to uh, have an object view and how, how to see the object view and all we will be learning. And also an example uh, to understand why the access uh, is useful to work with uh, databases. So what is object view? To work with uh, access database, we should have an option to view the object view objects uh, like uh, tables, queries, forms, reports and macros so that we can manipulate them and we can see uh, the way we want it to work will work so that finally the end, end output will come. So we have broadly two categories of objects views. One is standard view. Uh, this is basically a data oriented uh, view. That is a data sheet view, form view, report view and print preview. This is a front end uh, view I, I would say rather. Because in this we would be directly entering through the data and viewing the data and so on. Second is functional view. So this is a structured oriented view. That means design view, layout view and SQL view. This is basically the back end uh, view which I, I would say rather. It is a functional view. So it is a back end view wherein we will we'll do the uh, see, uh, uh, designing of the entire uh, uh, database structure how the way you wanted to see that so now we will be listening uh, we will be learning uh, uh, the uses of all these views and very uh, practically with the uh, access database uh, in the coming uh, lessons so where we will be most often we would be uh, visiting this uh, uh, what do you call uh, object views panel uh, it, we call we call it as uh, uh, backstage panel and we almost uh, every time we just go inside and do different views and uh, we will be doing a lot of work on it. So we will be seeing those options, those uh, options and uh, how we change the views and how we work with these views will be taught in uh, those videos. So now the, there is an example to understand the use of access, the so data, access da database. So, uh, look at this table this table has got first name last name type and uh, the, the type of the phone number and the phone number you have so you have uh, names uh, whereas the names are repeated repeated because each person has got uh, three to four uh, phone numbers which are pertaining to his mobile number or home number or office number and so on so uh, if we have at all we have to add any additional information like suppose a person has got a fax Either you have to create a, a row or you have to create a column wherein you need to put the number and all. So, there is a lot of uh, chance to restructuring, uh, restructurizing the data uh, time to time whenever we require. So, uh, the more uh, records are increasing, the data structure would be uh, changing on its own pace and finally we end up uh, doing a mess up with uh, this. Also, uh, we cannot manipulate this in Excel. Because it's a continuous data, and every time the data, the records are added, and we need to maintain this data for a long time. So, uh, just main, uh, just manipulating an Excel through a formula and all those things is not possible at all. So, for that, what we have uh, created is uh, database access database actually works with relational database. So, this is what is relational database. If you see the last example where you have the names and the type of phones and phone numbers here you do not have any uh, idea how to work with it you need to just add another record and maintain it but in this case what is the relational database is the the data is uh, basically segregated into two tables one table is just talking about the names of the people and second one is talking about the numbers and types of num uh, phone numbers they have so here, the, what is the relation between these two lists, the, these two tables are, is serial number. It's like a key. 
so what uh, key is generated here is for candy uh, the he uh, mobile number home uh, mobile number home number and office number which is linked with one so the serial number one has got these three uh, numbers serial number two has got the three uh, numbers and serial number three also has got the four num the, the four three four numbers so basically this relational database will uh, remove unnecessary information from the data so it will prevent us to do the restructuring of the database time to time so we are our data is consistent and very structured and very easy to maintain and we have we can uh, relate it uh, very easily so this is the reason why we need to use the access uh, ms access application hope you understood we will be coming up with uh, uh, more uh, uh, practical sessions in the next videos please keep watching thank you